Okay, so this is day nine of our trip. It is just now eight o'clock in the morning. Shan Chan and I killed ourselves driving all the way back here last night. I drove until I think about 1.30 a.m. and then Shan Chan drove until about four in the morning. Well, I drove the first part though, the first five hours. Six yeah, hours. and then we Then we you slept. drove six hours and then I drove Three and a half hours. Yeah, so that, and then we slept in the parking lot of the visitor center. Uh, it was so foggy last night we could barely see in front of the car when Shan Chan was driving. And uh, we ended up going to the wrong visitor center. So we're heading over to what we believe is the correct visitor center at this point, but as you can see, it is still really, really foggy and misty out. And the visitor center is closed, but I think that's the one that's supposed to have the view, and at least we have bathrooms there to use. Yeah. But um, I don't know if we're going to see anything today, though. It's so foggy. We're in the clouds right now, so... Yeah, we may or may not get a good view of Crater Lake. If this fog doesn't lift, we may not see anything. So I guess we'll just see what we'll see. Another note, uh, the drive through uh, southern Oregon and in eastern Oregon was just as bad coming in as it was going out, even though we took a different route. We drove... I think about four hours last night with no gas station, no bathroom, no rest stop, no nothing. So uh, whenever you find a gas station, if you're going to take this route, you better fill the car, whether it's half full, three quarters full, whatever. Uh, I don't know how a car with a smaller gas tank would even be able to make this drive because, I mean, it was just nothingness all night long. I, I passed through a couple of uh, towns last night during my part of it the yeah end. well I but they did. were closed yeah so. uh, I, I'm guessing that most of the gas stations in this area are probably closed at between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. Yeah. so if you're gonna drive all night like we did you could find yourself in some hot water uh, fortunately the very last town that I stopped in I stopped through there at 10 p.m. And I decided to fill the car, which was a Thank very, very goodness. wise move because we would have been in a lot of trouble if we hadn't done that. So if you're going to take this drive, anytime you find a gas station, especially if it's like getting close to, to uh, 8, 8 p.m. or something like that, There's the view. fill the car no matter what. That's where I took the pictures. Anyway, uh, we might have a viewpoint here, so we're going to hop out and see what we got. So this is viewpoint number one. I gotta say I'm more than a little disappointed. The fog is so thick, you can't even see the lake. It's still early in the day, but we don't know how much time we want to tr spend waiting for the fog to lift when we could be out doing other stuff. Uh, we're hoping to stop at the lava fields and the petrified forest today on the way home. And staying here could potentially kill time at those other places. So uh, we're probably going to hit a couple of viewpoints on the way out and call it if we don't get anything better. So we opted to wait an additional hour and a half in the car in the hopes that maybe it would clear up. But uh, clearly that is not the case. It looks exactly the same as it did an hour and a half ago where visibility on the road isn't that great and visibility into the crater is zero. This is the crater on the side over here, and you can't see anything, not even close. So at this point, we're going to start heading to our next destination. There are a couple of other viewpoints of the crater along the way. If it clears up, I'll film those. If not, we're just going to head over to uh, the petrified forest and the, lot of, and the lava fields heading towards Bend. Uh, that's the best we can do to try and salvage the rest of the day at this point. Alright, so we just arrived at the Obsidian Flow. The sky has cleared up a little bit from what was at Crater Lake, so you can actually see stuff for a change. <laughs> and uh, we're about ready to start the hike here. But yeah, all this that you see here is just like one giant Obsidian Mound. Here's a nice big chunk of it right here by the trail. Pretty cool stuff. Alright, so here we are, lookout point number one, up the Obsidian Trail. 
it's pretty much just climbing, climbing stairs so far. Yeah, see the pretty, pretty good view from up here. And we got this nice little chunk. Here. It looks really cool. I hate to say it, but this is cooler than the Obsidian Cliff at uh, Yellowstone. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice cool chunk right there. See all the lines of it in there? Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Look at that. So neat. Pretty awesome. Now you don't take this home. You leave this here for other people to enjoy. Yeah. You can clearly see some spots along the trail where people have like come here with a pickaxe and just taken out huge chunks of obsidian. But if everybody does that's that, a no -no. There's, there's nothing left for everybody else to enjoy. All right, so this is the end of the trail. Is that the end? People are still going up. I mean the end. Yeah, if you want to keep climbing, but this is where the trail ends. No, it's not. The trail goes that way, see? He's lying. <laughs> this is just one of the little outlooks. Amazing. I still want to go up that trail up there, though. people climbing all over this stuff. Shan Chan and I were here a few years ago and this place already looks drastically different than it did. A lot less shiny. Yep, people have been taking all sorts of stuff. Still looks pretty incredible though. Well, if you look up there, see that big shiny section? It used to always look like that. Mm-hmm. Like everywhere. Yeah, like right in here, the whole thing used to look like that. Not anymore. People are taking a lot of a lot of obsidian from this place. All right, this is as high as Shan Chan and I are going on the obsidian flow here. As you get higher, there's more obsidian chunks because fewer people are hiking to the top, so fewer people are taking stuff. But, uh, yeah, pretty good view. Just down the road from the Obsidian Flow is uh, Polina Falls here. This was literally a 150 yard hike from the car to get this viewpoint. Totally worth it. Beautiful falls. little creek flowing over here that uh, flows down into the big one. Really pretty area. All right, so we've made our last stop on our vacation and we are on our way home. We should be home in about three hours or so. Nine straight days of vacationing. And I gotta say, it was totally worth it. We definitely had some some setbacks and some things that didn't go our way. But uh, overall, it was a fantastic experience and I would do it again in a heartbeat. I cannot think of a better way to spend my 10 year wedding anniversary than what we just did. I felt like we got some good bonding going on and boy, did we see a lot of good stuff. Anything you'd like to add, dear? I'm just super happy. Super happy with it. Uh, we're a little bit disappointed that we're going home, but all good things must come to an end. And we have put ourselves in a position financially where we're not going to have to wait four years between vacations anymore. We're hoping to take another one to Disney World uh, sometime between now and March. And we're going to document that one for you guys to watch too. So.
for those of you that have actually uh, stuck with us through this entire video, thank you, and uh, we hope to uh, enjoy your company on future adventures. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Keep the sky on your mind